You know why airlines don't play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when you're leaving a trail of cloud behind. Today we're chatting about Qantas Airlines, the globe's oldest continuously operated airline. Not to mention, it's the safest too. Quite reassuring really, because let's face it, nobody wants to play a game of Survivor at 30,000 feet. So, buckle up and get comfortable as we prepare for a bit of turbulence on this trip down Qantas's memory lane. Now strap in as we prepare for a turbulent journey through Qantas's history. In the roaring 20s, Qantas was just a fledgling, much like a baby bird. Only this bird was made of wood and fabric, and I'm not sure how it flew without feathers, but we'll just roll with it. Picture this, it's the year 1920, and two blokes, Hudson Fish and Paul McGuinness, decided to start an airline in the heart of Queensland, Australia. Their first job, airmail. Nothing like delivering love letters and overdue bills to get your wings, right? But these two weren't content with just being the postman of the skies. No, they had bigger visions. By the time the 30s rolled around, they were ready to spread their wings even further. And so, Qantas began offering passenger flights. Can you imagine the thrill of flying in those early machines? Wind in your hair, possibly also in your lunch. Fast forward to the late 40s, and Qantas was strutting on the international stage, launching its first international services. And then, in the late 50s, they introduced the jet services. Talk about moving up in the world. From canvas and wood to shiny metal jets, this bird was not just flying, it was soaring. It was a journey of perseverance, innovation, and a pinch of audacity. From a humble mail carrier to an international airline, Qantas had truly come a long way. And just like that, Qantas had spread its wings and was soaring through the skies, leaving the days of delivering letters far behind. Now, we all know that with great flights come great responsibilities, and Qantas, being the responsible bird it is, decided to take safety to a whole new level. You see, Qantas has an impressive safety record. And by impressive, I mean they've never had a fatal jet airliner accident. That's right, not a single one. If their safety record were a kitchen counter, it would be so sparkling clean, you could eat your dinner off it. You might be wondering, how do they do it? Well, it's not by crossing their fingers or knocking on wood. No, Qantas has a rigorous and comprehensive safety management system. They don't just follow the rules, they set the bar high. And when it comes to their planes, they maintain them like a doting parent, ensuring every bolt, every wire, and every engine is in perfect working order. But it's not all about the machines. Qantas also takes great care of its people. Its pilots and crew are trained to the highest standards, with safety always at the forefront. They're more prepared than a scout on a camping trip. So, if you're a bit of a worrywart, or even a germaphobe, relax. With Qantas, you're in safe hands. Or should I say, safe wings. So next time you're flying Qantas, remember, the only danger you're in is the risk of having too much fun. So after all the ups and downs, pun intended, where are we landing with Qantas? Well, let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? In the early days, Qantas was like your friendly neighborhood mailman, dutifully delivering letters in the outback. But dreams were big and the sky was wide open. Fast forward a few decades, and our humble mailman has morphed into a world-traveling, jet-setting superstar. From delivering postcards to delivering people, Qantas has certainly come a long way. The airline started its journey in the roaring 20s a time when planes were more novelty than necessity. It's almost a century later, and Qantas has evolved from a two-man operation into one of the world's leading airlines. It's like watching your favorite underdog movie. Only this time, the underdog is an airline, and the movie is real life. Over the years, Qantas has been a beacon of innovation, from introducing business class to being a pioneer in long-haul flights. It's been a journey marked by many firsts, a testament to their commitment to pushing boundaries. When it comes to Qantas, it's not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about the journey. It's about the comfort, the service, and that quintessential Australian charm. And there you have it, folks, the high-flying history of Qantas. Just remember, if you ever feel like you're not going anywhere in life, even Qantas started off delivering mail. There's hope for us all.